And my name's Jamie Stroud. Hi, I'm Jackson Wheeler. Hi, my name is Angel. My name is Big Max. How's it going? My name's Tommy. I'm Justin, I'm 21, I'm a Donis uh, Las Vegas dancer. I was extremely skinny. I'm on about 300 pounds, almost close to it. And I started at approximately 150 pounds at the same height I am now. Um, so I was basically uh, a walking stick. Uh, you know, when you're 150 pounds at almost six foot three, people notice that you're very underweight. Um, so, I, you know, get a little picked on, things like that, you know, typical teenager stuff. People making comments, women making some nasty comments, decided to, you know, make me want to try to gain some muscle. And rather than just gaining a little bit, I took it very seriously and I decided that I just want to grow um, as much as I could. Uh, at first I was a little, I was a little scared, you know, because I was uh, really shy, but you know, you sorry, you know, you get used to it. Duh. Um, go go dancing. Yeah. It was a private lap dance. Um, and yeah. Uh, I actually did the uh, the nude party um, up in New York. Was the first um, event I ever did. So I don't remember what my first dance was like, but I remember that was quite the hectic scene. I love being naked. It was a little different, but not too strange because I had danced before previously for women. And also, I before I started doing the club, I um, had done some webcam stuff. So I was already like, uh, wasn't too foreign for me. But um, yeah, it was a little, a little different, you know. Uh, I am straight, so you know, it's uh, it was a little bit different. But um, overall, I didn't really mind it. It was kind of actually cool just having someone really admire you and respect you. Uh, for the hard work you put in. I go all the way back to when I was 19. Uh, I started dancing for women, actually. And it was fun. Didn't make any money, really, but it was fun. You know, a bunch of ladies taking jello shots off my dick and shit like that. But then I realized there was no money in it, so I convinced the company to start advertising, you know, gay private events. And the other two models that were working with the company actually weren't too comfortable with it. It was a birthday party, and I was—I stole the fucking show. They hired us back just because of me. Yeah, it was easy. All I had to do was this. That was it. It's a, it's a big difference to me, and it, it's precisely because I do get horny a lot of times dancing for girls. And uh, yeah, that's the biggest difference. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm fascinated in, in psychology and sexuality, so I do love discussing gender differences a lot, and I think it's important to like have understanding about each other. Um, but yeah, I get it constantly that uh, people don't believe that I, you know, I'm straight or whatever. Um, but I think I feel like people should give each other the benefit of the doubt, even if you are skeptical. It's like to me, it's like even if someone is lying, so what? I genuinely am straight, so I. Uh, you know. <laughs> I've had where I've danced and like I slipped off the, the go-go box and fell on my ass. <laughs> uh, anytime I step up on a box to dance in front of songs, I consider it embarrassing. For, uh, I would have to say for men or for women. Yeah, a couple times um, I went down to get tipped and I knocked his drink over. And yeah, so that was kind of like, oh damn. <laughs> uh, I guess I could say I've gotten boners while dancing, but I actually don't find that that embarrassing. I guess maybe I'm a little bit shy on the stage, it's the only thing, but you know, that's the only thing I'm a little bit shy about. I'd say the only thing maybe, like, like if I, a couple times I feel like I had to like fart or something like that. Because when you're my size, you're eating a lot of food, right? Especially bodybuilders go through off-season where you get bigger and diet. And when you're off-season like I am now, you're eating copious amounts of food. So because of that, what happens, sometimes you feel like it and you have to hold it in because you don't want to. But hey, maybe like some dudes are probably be into that. Maybe start like a new trend at the Adonis Club, like Big Forty Max or something. Um, a lot of guys like my armpits. Um, sorry, I haven't shaved. Um, I guess that's the weirdest one. It's, I wouldn't say it's, it's too much what they say. It's uh, what they try to get away with. Um, weird requests aren't that weird to me, I guess. But I've had like people say, you know, 
oh, I like feet, can I like stuff the tips in your shoes or something? So I don't care. I'm, I'm very open-minded and non-judgmental. Yeah, I don't think uh, whatever this is going on is going to be appropriate. I think YouTube would censor this video if I told uh, some of those inappropriate moments. So. Uh, not that I can remember, no. no. You, I mean, if you're a bigger muscular guy and you tell someone no about something, they usually listen. The, the ones that, that treat you right and, and, and take care of you, you know, you return the favor. You know, one hand washes the other. Well, this one definitely has the best dressing room. Uh, it's big and the actual dance area is professional. It's meant for this kind of venue, so it's nice. Yeah, they're super supportive and uh, as long as I'm happy, they're happy. I guess surprised reactions from people are, um, that's the best way I could describe it, I guess. Um, but for the most part, people have been pretty cool about it. Ellen Day strippers and escorts. Well, my um, my girlfriend, she accepts it. Well, because I pay half of the rent, so she has to accept it. Yeah, it all it all depends who you're dating. I mean, if you date somebody in the industry, they have a better understanding of what you're doing. But if you date somebody that it, you know isn't in the isn't in the industry, it's uh, it's kind of a shock. <laughs> I think it's best to be honest about it because if people you don't tell them up front, whether it's a girlfriend, spouse, husband, boyfriend, whatever, and then they do find out, you're so screwed. No, they've, they've been supportive with the dancing. Yes, with the dancing. <laughs> what jet are you talking about? Uh, let's say Kenny. Is, no, Xavier. I think everyone would want to see me in Xavier, so. <laughs> Well, myself, of course. Can I just pick myself? Jeez, uh... Angel. <laughs> I would just hug myself. <laughs> I'd say... Angel. Uh, cause he's... He's like kinda pretty. And uh... He's real smooth and... I don't like body hair and uh... You know... I think he's uh... One of the best looking ones here. Um, I would actually probably go with my buddy Kevin in LA and it's, it's because we're good friends. I actually think it'd be more comfortable with someone like I know pretty well, I guess. Bill, because I would like have him like say certain things that are funny to me. Like, oh, I don't know, have sex, you know. So, Bill, that's it. Bill. Hillary Clinton. Uh, I'd take Hillary. Man. I would say Hillary, because I bet you she's a complete freak in the sack. I bet you she could outdo Bill by a mile. <laughs> uh, Hillary, Hillary, Hillary Clinton, and uh, I, that's probably not surprising since I'm straight. Angel. No, no. Uh, and one word. Obese. <laughs> Painful. In one word? Awkward. Um, frustrating. Or stressful, either one. Believe it or not, unfortunately it was with a woman, but she was um, extremely overweight and she didn't smell that good. And I'm being serious. You would think, man, I was this guy, you, you weren't turned away from women, but I said I'll have to give him another uh, try. And luckily the next time and times after were a lot better. But it was a drunken horniness. Virginity loss that uh, was not forgotten. Goodbye. I would keep going because they already know that I do it. I would give them a high five. <laughs> Jeez, these are tough questions. <laughs> you know, you know, I, I, um, I've practically stop talking to my parents like very little communication because we don't get along so if they did walk in on I me mean, I would not care because I have practically no relationship with them anymore uh, and as for my brother and sister they know what I do so uh, it's no big deal they're actually very very, very supportive and we get along well but um, the parents I don't care I would maybe like run away at first 
and then be like, oh man, well, I gotta go make some money still. So, and then maybe like just approach him like, I don't know. Be like, hey, how you doing? What are you doing here? <laughs> I'd be like, hey, you want a lap dance, mom? <laughs> <laughs>